Steve Dotto here. How the heck are you this fine day? Today, I want to return to the very popular topic of Dropbox. Now, Dropbox has recently reduced their price to make them much more in line with what's happening in the whole Google Drive space. They've increased some capabilities of Dropbox. They've rolled out a new version for iOS 8. But the things that I want to show you today are some basic features that people still seem to get confused about. How do I know that? Because they ask the same questions over and over again in our YouTube community. And I'm going to show you two kind of ninja Dropbox tips that will really get your geek on. You will like these tips. Even if you're not a geek, you can look oh so geekish and oh so cool with a few of the tips that I'm going to give you today on Dotto Tech. You know, when it comes to simple apps that or services that do what they're supposed to do and do them very well, Dropbox is right at the top of the list for me. Now, for simple file sharing, uh, for keeping for cloud storage, Dropbox really sets the standard for ease of use. But there are a few things that still confuse people about how Dropbox works as far as how it syncs to its services, how it syncs to the different computers that they're on, and also about how you use it for sharing files. Because one of the most popular aspects of Dropbox is the, the ability to be able to share files in Dropbox. But before we begin all that, I just want to give a, pay a quick lip, lip service, lip service, to their new pricing plans that they have because when we did our big review of Dropbox versus Google Drive, shortly after we released that video, Google Drive dropped their price dramatically and Dropbox took a few months, but now they've dropped it to pretty close to the same sort of price. So now for $10.99 a month Canadian, you've probably seen this for $9.95 a month in the US, I'm guessing, uh, you get one terabyte of space. That's 1,000 gigabytes. Uh, so, uh, that's the, uh, that's the kind of the basic version now, uh, you know, I'm kind of on a mission of getting free storage in Dropbox. You know, they say that there's a, the, I, I always thought there was a limit, uh, although they haven't told me that there is, uh, I haven't been able to find any documentation on the limit changing. Uh, but I've got a link in some of my Dropbox demos so that, you know, when people sign up for Dropbox, I get free storage and I'm just playing the game. I just want to see how much storage I'm going to get. And look what I'm at right now. Oh, I'll just show you. And if you haven't signed up for Dropbox, you got to sign up with the link that's in mine because right now I am at 22 gigabytes of space uh, from people signing up for Dropbox uh, with uh, with my with my whatever they call it affiliate or my 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 link. So I, I want to see how how far can we go? Can I can I is it going to keep going? Or are they eventually going to shut it off? Because I think they said originally the shutoff was 18 megabytes or so 18 gigabytes, but it's it seems to have continued to grow. So. Two thumbs up for Dropbox for Steve's plan growing. Now, let me show you the tricks, the two tips that I wanted to show you. And the first is related to receiving email in to, uh, or using Dropbox to more easily have people send you documents. Sharing a folder can be a little bit confusing and it's a, a little bit cumbersome too. You don't necessarily want people always to have your access to your Dropbox folder. So if you've got somebody that's got to send you one or two or three files uh, and on, a, on a kind of semi-regular basis, this tool here called Send to Dropbox is a terrific tool. I think I might have shown this to you once before, but all you do is you sign in for free to this service uh, and it, it asks for permission to, of course, to sync to your Dropbox account. But once you've done that, it gives you this email address, which I'm going to blur part of it out. But this email address, which allows people, if you send this to people and say, reply to this email address, it will send a document into your Dropbox account. Now, you can also use it yourself to email directly from your account to Dropbox if it's not convenient. If you're on a device that you don't have a Dropbox link, if you haven't got Dropbox set up on your smartphone or you have difficulty kind of moving files around, you can use this just forwarding it to your Dropbox account by saving this as an email address in your in your own in your own um, address book. So this is, as far as I'm concerned, this is the easiest way to get documents into Dropbox is to give people this email address. Now, following along on that, the easiest way theme, let's talk about the challenge of people downloading from your Dropbox account. Now, occasionally you take a file uh, in Dropbox, let's just open my Dropbox folders here, and you send it to people and they get a little bit lost 
in the download process. And here's what happens. Let's say that I wanted to share this. This is a little PSD, a little Photoshop file that I might want to share. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this share Dropbox link. When I go share Dropbox link, a, uh, a series of things happen. First of all, it takes this note and it copies a share URL onto my desktop onto, uh, so that I can then put it into a browser window so I can email this to somebody. I'm going to paste this in. And you see this little URL here? This tells the browser at, at destination to, uh, to go to Dropbox and to download this file. And if I hit return, this is what people's browser will typically do with this file. Is it'll actually pull the graphic here down and then ask them to download it. It's a multi-step process. And if this is a fairly large file, it's all got to load onto their computer basically before they can start the download. So it can be a little bit cumbersome and also they have the ability to be able to share it which gives them some extra options. Sometimes you just want to make things simple, don't you? You don't want the complete, you, don't, you, you just want to make it a little bit easier. Sometimes you have people in your life who aren't that good at doing these things. They, 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 they get lost in even the simplest of process. Watch what happens with a slight ninja hack to that code. Remember the code that we got right here. So you see it right here. So that's the URL to download that file. Just take your cursor backspace and change that last zero to one. And what it does is in the code, it then tells that document, don't load this first, just start the download link. So don't give them the option to download. I mean, you, you they still have to pick the destination to save, but don't load the file and don't go through that interface. So watch what happens when I use that as the code. It now comes in and says, save this as where? See, all, it, all, all that happened when it pops up is it'll ask to save it. And I click save and now it's going to say, there the, there's the document appearing on my desktop. It saved it right away. So I didn't have to go through this extra stages of the interface. It's only one step but it's cleaner, it's simpler. It's not launching a big web browser. And when you have people that get a little bit confused when you send them share links, this simple ninja trick of changing the zero to one might be a lifesaver. Well, maybe not a lifesaver, but definitely a frustration saver. Yes, indeed. I hope you found this video today be somewhat interesting and somewhat useful. There are three ways for you to stay in touch with us here at Dotto Tech. You can subscribe to this channel. You can sign up for our newsletter where you'll hear about all of our videos as well as our live events. We do a lot of webinars which are just awesome as far as content goes. And finally, Dotto Tech is a crowdfunded site uh, uh, channel, meaning that uh, our patrons are support us financially by giving a little bit of money each month, meaning I don't have to spend my time chasing uh, advertising revenue in order to keep the channel going. Instead, I can just concentrate on creating content, which I like and hopefully you like as well. If you're interested in finding out more, please visit our Patreon page. For as little as a dollar a month, you can make a profound difference in the life here at Dotto Tech. And that's it for me. Until next time, have fun storming a castle.